military is Hi friends, host Eric here. Host is talking about Spanish people. I didn't mean to click that video there. Said that about I so I've, they, they say that you shouldn't play poker when you're tired or in a bad mood or hungry or any of those things. Same might be said for YouTube video making. I'm not really in a good state of being for making a video that's going to be successful or anything right now. But I want to make a video because that's what I do when I need to talk out my shit or whatever. And right now I feel fussy and insatiable. Like, I don't know what I want. I just want something other than right now or something like that. That's a phenomenon that happens occasionally. It's something you can take charge of or change by slowing yourself down a bit. I made a musings agenda earlier. I tried to make, attempted to make a video on this musings agenda. Which I wrote on this piece of paper. But even when I I did it earlier, I wasn't really very interested in the musings agenda. I'm interested in talking out my yeah. I don't know why I'm feeling me out right now today in general. Low frustration tolerance, uh, impatience. Additionally, it seemed like the day actually did conspire to annoy me across the board. It was just like a series of annoying things kept happening. Like at one point, I was listening to a voice phone and wanted to write down a phone number on a piece of paper, old school style. I reached in my drawer, got a pen out. It didn't work. At least not on a piece of paper I was trying to write on. I got a different piece of paper, still didn't work. Got a second pen, didn't work again. A second pen didn't work. Third pen literally broke in my hands. I mean, that's like the universe is conspiring at that point. I mean, Kemp, you were here when this occurred. Do you recall the green pen literally falling apart in my hands? I took one, then a second, then a third pen out of my drawer, and none of them worked. Mm -hmm. I had two different kinds of paper to write on, neither of which were adequate to be written upon by these mm -hmm. half-assed or broken pens. They weren't even completely broken. They, like, it dribble out one little milliliter of ink, so I couldn't actually finish writing down the number ever. Are you talking about your tantrum today? Well, I'm just explaining that the day conspired a bit, too. It's not just me. <laughs> it was like a whole series. I had a fantastic day. What? I had a fantastic day. No, I... This sort of thing. What I'm saying, Kimberly, is that it may be true that I was in a bit of a mood today. It's also true that the world conspired to put a bunch of bullshit that even on a happy day I would go like oh my god what the fuck is this you know yeah I think that uh yeah it was whatever it was the universe was definitely laughing at you today that's one way to put it anyway it was a very frustrating day Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't that fun to be around. You were a little prickly. Well, you know, it's like everything went wrong starting from the get-go, pretty much. Not wrong, but just more difficult than it needed to. Oops. First conversation of the day. Of course, I started the conversation about evolution, which I know is a hot button topic. I was say, why the fuck do you even bring that word up? I swear to God, anytime I see 
or hear the word evolution, I turn right around and go back into the house. Because it's the most clear cut of all of my awesome things that I talk about. I'm so overhearing about it. Well, but I mean, if people are resistant to something that's really clear cut and they're TI users, it's frustrating. And shortly thereafter, I finished up the work on this song, which normally would make me happy, but in this instance, it just makes me feel kind of like, uh, Maybe I should quit writing a song every four days? No. It makes me feel like, um, that was too hard. That one was a lot of work. And... It's not that it necessarily came out particularly better than other songs, although maybe marginally in some ways, but it's just, it was a difficult song to wrestle into place. It required a lot of work. So, you know. a little bit I was like thoroughly done with it by the time I was done with it I pushed through beyond the comfort zone to get it done anything that is beyond comfort for me is beyond comfort for me yep yeah. and little Eric is going to kick and scream yep broke the uh, front plate of the drawer on my desk today in frustration. You what? Broke the front door on your desk? <gasps> you didn't see that earlier, Cam? No, I freaking walked out as soon as your tantrum started. Oh, I can't believe you didn't see that. No, I didn't see that. You were here when it happened. I was wondering what happened. I just tried to ignore it and solve the problem in a more efficient way. <laughs> well, anyway, my fur frustrated me, so I yanked it out harder and, uh, broke the front panel off of it. Oh, wait, here, I'll show you. I have it right here. Here it is. The front door of the desk drawer. Yeah, this is why my mom doesn't lend us tools anymore. What? She never lent us any tools well, anymore? I've asked and she said no. Do you think maybe it's because your mom's a bitch? I think it's because she knows that when you get frustrated with something, you'll destroy it. How does she know that? Because you did that with your saw. Which saw? I asked to borrow a saw once, and she said, well, didn't you tell me that the last saw he had, he threw it across the lawn? I said, yeah. She goes, I'm not lending him tools. Oh, so the problem is you're talking shit about me, and that's gotten you in trouble. No. She, I said, can I borrow Did I break any that? saw? No. All I said was... Did I damage I, any saw? I don't know. But that's what you told your mom. No, I told her that you threw the saw that we had across the lawn. Why did you tell her that? Because that was the reason why I needed to borrow hers. Did I break the saw or something? It wasn't working right. Oh, uh, that okay. Well, yeah, there was a time when the saw was not working properly. I, and it was broken. It wasn't working because mm -hmm. the blade we needed to put a new blade on and have it centered properly and everything which Cameron eventually came over and helped me with yeah. but I did not cause the saw to be broken in that fashion okay well I don't know what I'm saying so you told your mom a really misleading story huh maybe I guess I don't know so long ago well you sure do remember that I did something wrong about it well all I 
remembers you throwing the tool. Well, I'll be... I mean, if you're going to tell your mom bullshit, then you get to eat your bullshit soup. You know? I'm Don't blame me for it. I'm not blaming you for it. Well, you said that's why your mom won't lend us tools. The real reason is because you fed her some bullshit. You have a... No, Eric, you ruin and destroy shit if it doesn't okay, but go your that, way. But Kim, that's not why your mom doesn't lend us tools. Your mom doesn't lend us tools because you decided to tell her some bullshit about me. And we know it's bullshit because even if it had a kernel of truth to it, you, you built the story to mean something that didn't actually happen, I'm sure. Just me, it's the universe lining up against me as well. <sighs> what am I supposed to do about that shit? I do get frustrated and throw shit, but that's not why Kim's mom isn't lending us a tool. Obviously, I wouldn't do that with Kim's mom's tool. Kim's mom is not lending us a tool for whatever reason Kim's mom has. Kim's always trying to assign meaning to it that doesn't exist half the time, or if it does exist, who the fuck cares? She, you know, it's like I didn't. I don't want to borrow any of her tools. I haven't asked to borrow any of her tools. I don't even know what the fuck Kim's talking about. She wants to borrow one of her mom's tools. And has told her mom that I can't be trusted with her tools or something. So she has to only herself to blame. Probably this video won't go up, but who knows. <laughs>